Hi guys, today we're talking about the Facebook Oculus Quest 2 update version 23. If it's your first time to the channel, very nice to meet you and a big welcome back to all our regular subscribers. Always nice to have you among us. Of course, this is VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality. In case you're not familiar, you are required to use a Facebook account in order to run the Facebook Oculus Quest 2, which basically means you're contributing your data to the platform without even really knowing it completely free of charge for them to basically be using tons of different algorithms that will breach or have breached already antitrust and anti-privacy laws. So the first update that Facebook have made is implementing something called the Oculus Move, which basically takes on another company called Your. Facebook will basically now have the ability to track any of your Facebook movements in any app whatsoever that you're using whilst in virtual reality. While Facebook claim this is to help you to better strategize on your VR fitness program by, for example, tracking your calorie burning, of course, this is going to put a lot of pressure on you who have been around for so much longer than Facebook in providing this kind of service. And of course, you have a tremendous positive reputation. Facebook have now made the 90 Hertz refresh rate as standard and native within the Facebook Quest 2. Now, at the moment, the update is only at the system level software, and it will be up to the app developers to update the 90 Hertz refresh rates within their applications when Facebook provide them the updated SDK. Now, this is going to be very interesting because John Carmack did mention that there might be some heating issues when using the Facebook Quest 2 at 90 Hertz refresh rate. Do go and check out the other videos that I had uploaded, including the summary of the John Carmack joined Facebook Connect and also the Facebook privacy issues. While none of us at VR Essentials want you to have any heating problems whatsoever, do keep us in the loop as time goes by to let us know whether you do have any issues of any kind. Facebook have also updated the voice commands, which basically will enable you to view, hear, and delete any of your voice interactions whilst you're in VR. To manage your voice activity, all you need to do is go to Settings, Voice Commands, and then activity log. And basically what this underlyingly means is that Facebook are telling you that they can basically store any of your voice activities and use the recordings as part of the algorithms. Now, in one of the previous videos, we also had mentioned that John Carmack had said during his Facebook Connect speech that latency was also a big issue when compared to the Quest 1. So do leave us a comment below after you're doing your update whether you really feel that the latency has really been drastically improved. And also Facebook have apparently optimized the graphics display with the pixel densities. So do leave a comment below to let us know whether you feel that the changes are quite substantial. According to Facebook, they've also improved some of the in-VR experiences. For example, you can now send a friend request or make some purchases for other various different apps, as well as share content whilst you're in VR itself. But apparently this is actually dependent on developers who want to use this feature when they implement focus awareness in the new SDK update. Now, if there's any potential hardware manufacturers watching this video, do please note that Facebook have implemented, I think, what is a really cool and very useful setting, which is basically enabling people to upload and download files whilst using the browser. Now, Facebook are going to provide you the ability to upload videos directly to YouTube, as well as download images to Dropbox and also share files via Google Docs whilst in VR. Now, do know that there are tons of other updates that Facebook have made, which I'm not going to mention in today's video, but you can go to the link in the description below, which will basically redirect you to the release notes. However, there are two other updates I wish to quickly mention in this video. One of them apparently is that they've improved webcasting. Now, casting to a third party device has always been touch and go with the Quest. So apparently casting to a phone or to a desktop or also to a Facebook directly itself has been improved. So do leave a comment below and let us know whether this really is true. And also for those who are updating from Quest 1 to Quest 2, apparently you'll be able to download all your Quest 1 titles directly into the Quest 2 automatically. Now, don't get me wrong. I think Facebook have developed an amazing piece of technology, but as hard as it is to hear, it really is up to you whether you want to continuously carry on using a product developed by Facebook where you're contributing your data free of charge, where potentially it could damage society, leave tons of people jobless and bankrupt tons of businesses. Music 